Hello everyone. Welcome to my show. I'm Darkwing Doll and this is Dream Talk. Dream Talk is a show that I do every Friday. Um, what I do is I share you with you my dreams that I've had and I also share with you the insights I've gathered from these dreams. Today's show what I'd like to talk about is recurring dreams. I will just get right into it with a dream that I've had that's a recurring dream. Um, okay, so the first time I had this dream, it took place where I was um, on a bike and I was just kind of standing over a bridge, like overpass type thing, in my neighborhood. And um, I'm looking around trying to decide which way to go. Should I go this way, and there's a nice suburban, mellow neighborhood this way, or should I go to the other side, to the right? And I didn't know what was in store for me to, on the right side, if I went that way, in that direction. So what I did within my dream is I uh, got out of my body, had an out-of-body experience within the dream, and went over to the other side, that neighborhood area, and I found that it was very creepy. It was a ghetto. It was very low vibrational. It was very just, ugh, just nauseating feeling. So I came back into my body, and then the dream was over. Okay, so another week went by, and I had that same dream, but it took out, it, it just, like, started all over again, but added more on to it. Okay, so... All right, I already had figured out that that one side is ghetto-y and it's too scary for me in the last dream. Now it like shows me playing through it, the whole thing, but this time added to it, you know, I find myself at this like, it seemed like it was a train station slash um, airport, if that makes any sense. And as I'm walking down uh, to the area, where the trains or planes are, I see this train, but there's no, like, it's very bizarre. There's, it's like open, like an open train. There's no doors on it. Um, <laughs> it's very, very unnerving, just the thought of getting in a, a train with no doors on it. And it was bizarre. And I got on the train. And I didn't know exactly where I was going. I was just getting on the train. And I ended up going, it was like it was going underground. And um, as time goes on, those, I did not write this dream down, unfortunately. As time goes, I only wrote down <laughs> bits of it that were in the dream when I dreamt it again, if that makes any sense. So it ended at that point where I was on the train. So I had that same dream again. It like replayed everything again and then added more into it. Not only was I, I got off the train and next thing I knew I was over by where um, some sort of restaurant or store and I was inside there. Someone gave me their baby. This baby was very plump. Like what they show images of like the stereotypical cherub what they consider cherubs to be, like the little baby, you know. And I was holding the baby. The baby had a diaper on, no shirt on, whatever. And it had a syringe in its arm. And it looked very, very drained. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> we got to get this baby out of here. And then uh, the dream ended. And then a few weeks later, I had, you know, I just had that dream again, but it replayed play and add extra stuff onto it without talking about, uh, so I had that dream probably a total of, I'm guessing four or five times, but it just kept adding more and more onto it. Like it was a non, an ongoing story. So what I did was, <coughs> because I didn't write every single part down, I only wrote some of the the, the parts of the dream, recurring dreams down. The one that stuck out in my mind was the train, how the train was built with no doors on it. Um, me, like, you know, getting out of my body and being able to figure out what's going on and then coming back in. 
those are some very profound images within those dreams and also of course the baby with the syringe in his or her arm that was very uh, profound I'm gonna tell you the truth with that recurring dream I'm still figuring it out I'm still piecing it together and I know a lot of it is symbolic a lot of uh, and so the symbols are symbols presented for me for me to decipher based on the things that I see throughout throughout the day and based on my past based on you know what have you that I'm exposed to I have been exposed to living on this earth <laughs> So, yeah, I have no worries about figuring it out. I just wanted to share that with you, wondering if you, too, have recur recurring dreams. I mean, like that, in that way. I've heard people say they have had recurring dreams that never, like, where they keep adding more and more onto it. So, yeah, it's a very, uh, dreams are very um, intricate and deep. Even the simple ones can be as well. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoy today's show. Uh, I really enjoy talking to you all about my dreams. Because I feel like when we share our dreams, then we get to know who we are and why we're here. You know, what our purpose is. And I, that's why I think dreams are that important. You know, they inspire you, they nudge you, they remind you of how great you are, you know, as a as a human being living on this earth. So, uh, yeah, if you feel like you want to pay close attention to your dreams, then do so, you know? You don't have to tell everybody about it. You know, not everybody I know uh, is into dream analysis or anything like that. But you gotta just figure out, is this important to you? And then you make the effort to really understand what your dreams are trying to tell you. <laughs> a lot of words. <laughs> Alrighty guys, till next time. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. And thank you for uh, coming to this channel over and over again to support it. You know, I really appreciate it. And I just like being here to help wherever I can. Alrighty. Take care guys. Peace.